Hey guys, this is Kevin and welcome to a brand new video featuring one of my pieces of digital art. This one is called the Prayer Bridge and uh, this picture is already created. I've already finished it. What I want to do today is I just wanted to create a short video. It's about 15 minutes long and uh, I just want to speed up my editing process. It took me about two hours to create this picture in Photoshop. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up my editing to 15 minutes. So that's about eight times uh, faster than I actually work. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play the video right now. And uh, I'm just going to talk through everything that I did with my editing process. So first of all, you can see I've got a white canvas open. And all I'm doing right now is uh, just starting off with some some basic colors. And uh, I'm, I'm not doing a sketch here. I've already done the sketch uh, on, on paper. And so I kind of know what the picture is going to look like. But what I want to do here is just take a Photoshop brush, one of these texture brushes, and just kind of map out some of the colors that I like. So I wanted some warm colors up in the sky. You know, I've got some yellows and oranges and, and even some purples up there. And then, you know, down in the uh, the foreground where the, uh, the water and the grass is going to be a little bit cooler. And so what I'm doing is I'm just mapping out some colors, just trying to get an overall feel of the image. You know, I've already got the, the sketch in mind. I already know kind of what I want to create, uh, but I'm just playing around with colors, just trying to get this overall feel to it and uh, this theme that's going on and uh, make sure that these colors work together. Um, I'm not too concerned about this sketch. You can see how loose and rough it is, and it's really just going to be the basic shapes because what I'm going to do in a little bit is I'm going to take my own photography and I'm going to overlay it. And uh, so this overall sketch right here isn't really that important. It just helps me uh, get the, the, the design and the color and the tones and the values uh, of this picture before I get started. Sometimes I like to do this rather than just uh, throw uh, the, the images right onto the screen. I like to do this, this quick sketch beforehand. Uh, so you can see what I did. I blurred the pictures. I used a median blur. And so that just took out all of that texture uh, from those texture brushes. And so now I'm just using a regular soft round brush. And again, just working on my colors and uh, working on, on the overall uh, um, composition of the picture. Um, you know, I've got the water that's in the bottom and then I've got the, uh, the sky at the, at the top. That's going to be our two brightest scenes. Um, but I've got this overall sketch um, and... I, I thought about doing just a digital painting and just having everything just digitally painted, but I wanted to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, so I kind of abandoned that idea um, early on that I don't want to do a complete digital painting here. I do want to uh, do a photo manipulation where I add m multiple pictures here. Uh, but again, it always helps me personally to have this this nice um, composition already established before I bring in the pictures to know exactly where all the elements are going, to know the right perspectives, and so on. And also I wanted to make sure the colors had the right feel to it. So I played around with several different color options here uh, to make sure I was happy with what it was going to look like. And uh, once I'm, I'm pretty much happy with uh, the, uh, the overall composition, uh, then I'll start bringing in actual photographs. And so uh, that will be the next step in this this process. But, you know, a lot of times I, I like to do uh, this preliminary stuff, just mapping out the colors. You can see how rough this sketch is. It, it's not meant to look uh, realistic. It's just helping me get um, all the pieces in the places that they need to go. So I'm going to sketch this a little bit longer. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get a picture of myself um, so I needed a picture of myself and my wife and my daughter, and uh, I didn't actually go out into a, a creek a, or a stream and and sit in the water. Although I did, you know, um, I did consider doing that, uh, but I did not do that. I just took a picture of here of me in my office. Uh, this is just one of our bedrooms in our house, just one of uh, a small bedroom that I've turned into an office. Uh, I just have a, a tripod up and I have a, a light overhead, nothing fancy with that, but I went ahead and cut myself out of the scene. And then what I did is I just bring that picture of me into the scene and uh, make it to a smart object and everything. And uh, I've got a picture of my wife as well that I took at another time. And uh, we're going to bring both of those pictures into the scene. And so <clears throat> I've got my photography, my first element that's going to go into the scene. I'm putting them where they need to go. Um, but they are smart objects, so I can always change the size of them later um, if I need to. So I'm not really, you know, um, committed to that specific size since they are smart objects. 
Um, but I do have to fix the lighting. You know, the lighting when I took the picture and the lighting in this uh, the scene is going to be a lot different, um, and that's okay. So I can I can do some layer um, levels adjustments and um, some masking and, and everything to kind of work on that. Um, but I want to make sure that the lighting matches uh, the scene. So I've got uh, this picture of um, the water, this the stream picture. Um, that's going to be my foreground, and then I got a picture of this garden. Um, the tree line is going to be the background. Those are really the two main pictures I have in here: is that that foreground stream and that that background um, tree line. I'm also going to add some clouds in a little bit. Um, but you can see I just overlaid that water over top of my entire sketch, and so you can see that the sketch really wasn't that important. It does have some of the color coming through. Uh, but for the most part, it's those those photography elements that are going to be a lot more important. Um, you can see that I'm masking out uh, the, the pictures uh, of me and my wife. I'm just cutting out, you know, part of the bottom part of the the leg and the feet uh, to make it look like we're submerged in that water. And so I wanted to make it look like we are we're down in the stream. We're getting dirty. Uh, you know, we're definitely making a sacrifice here. We are being um, in the water. It's not deep water necessarily, uh, but we are in there getting muddy, getting wet. And uh, I wanted to just uh, mask out those feet to show that we are in there. Uh, so the reflection was a little tricky. I just, you know, flipped the picture of us and made it upside down. And I kind of used the smudge tool uh, to make it a little bit wavy. Uh, but then I'm just using a, a brush here to paint over some of those um, little lines, those water lines, kind of reflection lines that go over top of everything. And that makes it look a little bit more a little bit more realistic. It definitely has a painting feel to it, uh, but it does make it look a little bit more realistic that way. <coughs> so you can see it here. I'm painting some uh, of the, like the haze and the fog in the background. And I'm just doing that, just kind of separate um, the foreground from the background. I want to make sure that the, the main two subjects in here, which is me and my wife, I want to make sure that they don't get, get lost in a busy background. Uh, so that's why I want to make sure the background, it, it looks interesting, but it's not going to look uh, distracting. So I'm starting to add some clouds to this this part of the um, picture. And I've got this scene right here where I've got some, some really uh, strong clouds here with a very blue sky. Uh, but we're going to have to, you know, adjust that a little bit because that blue is just too blue and it's just too dark. And so just making some modifications to the background. Um, I want to make sure the background looks good and it's not completely washed out and white. Um, but at the same time, I don't want too much detail in the background uh, because the background is not the most important part of the scene. It's really going to be uh, the main people in this picture. Uh, so really just trying to figure out how to make the background look interesting but not look distracting. Um, so that that was kind of part of my struggle here is getting that background uh, to look right. Um, also, you know, working on some of these these fog elements that go in front and behind the model just to make them look like they blend in the scene better. Um, and once I've got that pretty much established, I'm starting to do a little bit of color grading here and just playing with the, the color grade. I still have another element to add. My daughter's not even in the picture yet, um, but I want to make sure I've got the color, the colors the way I want them to look, uh, the the contrast and the tone. I want everything to look appropriate, and uh, then I can just add my daughter in there very quickly, and it won't be a, a big deal. Um, but really, just playing around here with uh, those dark, contrasty, uh, warm colors. You know, you can see how much I've made the scene a lot warmer, um, and uh, just playing around with that. Uh, those gradient maps and those levels adjustments. And sometimes I use the selective color as a, as a way to color grade as well. Uh, but just trying to figure out what I want to do here. You know, a lot of this is trial and error. A lot of this is uh, just trying to uh, throw stuff onto the screen and see what looks right and uh, just playing around with it. And uh, if it doesn't look right, delete it and try another one. So I do that a lot. Um, I don't always get it right on the very first time. So just playing around with everything. I, I thought Maybe the sun being nice and bright would be pretty interesting. So I've got some really bright glows right behind uh, the two models in the front. And uh, you can see how bright that sun sunset is. And uh, so I thought that would be a pretty cool um, addition to that. Um, that wasn't in my original idea. I kind of wanted it more of a cloudy, dark day with a, a little bit of color in the, in the sky, but not a sunset. But as, the more I played with it, the more I thought it would be better to have some bright, bright lights there in the background. 
Uh, you can see I'm still working on those highlights. I'm still working on uh, some of these fine details. And I just want to make sure I get this, this overall color right before I add my daughter into the scene. Um, because if I don't like the color, I don't like the, uh, the overall feel to it, it's going to frustrate me and uh, I'll be tempted to start over. Uh, but here's pictures of my daughter. Um, I got her to, uh, to walk um, while we were at the creek, and I just got her to take some big steps. And I just tried to figure out which, which picture I wanted. And uh, typically with kids, you're never going to get that one perfect picture. You're going to have to take uh, multiple pictures and maybe splice them together if need be. So for example, this one right here, this is the first picture uh, that I've got. Um, I've got her uh, walking forward, uh, but she's got her arm in a, in a fist, or her her hand is in a fist, and she's holding it out. And so I didn't really like that idea, so I thought I would uh, just take another picture of her and uh, replace that arm with another arm. Uh, and so that's kind of kind of what I wanted to do: take multiple pictures and then kind of splice them together. So here's that picture right here of her arm going backwards, and uh, I thought that would be a little bit better of a fit. So just copy that arm out and then place it over top of her body, and that's a pretty simple fix, assuming that she's in the same general um, position. Um, so now I've got her into the scene. I need to work on her colors. She's obviously too dark, and uh, I'm going to work with um, her, her leg shape and position as well. Um, but definitely need to, to adjust how she looks in the scene. She's too dark. Um, she's got too much contrast, and um, she needs to be um, looks a little bit more realistic into the scene. Uh, you can see I'm getting rid of the uh, the cupcake that was on her shirt, uh, just for for trademark issues. Just getting rid of that um, and just replacing that with green. Um, put a shadow under her her shoes. Make sure it looks like she's standing on top of my my back and my shoulder. And then I can start working on that color grade. So a little bit less contrasty and uh, making her fit the scene a little bit better. You can see I also changed the color of her shirt. She did have a green shirt on and now I'm changing it to more warm colors. And I'm going to change the colors of uh, my shirt as well. And just trying to... Uh, to switch things up a little bit. And so I'm going to change shirts of, of my wife and myself and try to just play around with some blues here and uh, maybe have some blue shirts on us and some yellow shirt on my daughter, just, you know, just to play around with uh, how that looks. Um, there's nothing wrong with the red and purple that we had, but, you know, sometimes it, it, it works. It works out in your favor if you can change the colors up a little bit. So that's what I'm trying there. Just changing it from from red to blue or purple to blue and uh, just seeing how that looks so i'm pretty happy with it so i I'm, i stay with those colors and then i continue editing a little bit more um you know at this point the 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 image is pretty much done you know i've got uh, all of my elements in place i've got uh, the foreground is good the background is good and now and, and the color grade is actually good and so now it's really just going to be working on those fine details uh, going in and zooming in and make sure that, uh, you know, all of the details are going to uh, be in the right spot. Make sure there's, um, you know, little grass blades that I can add in there, um, fix the rocks, etc. And so just going to be, the rest of the way is really just going to be those fine details to make sure this image uh, looks well and there's nothing that's standing out that's uh, really obnoxious or really distracting. Uh, so these water ripples, I'm taking a little bit smaller brush and I'm adding some grass blades and water ripples and shadows and different parts of the reflection. Uh, just really fine tuning this this part uh, that was was mostly painted and uh, then we overlaid it with that that uh, that photograph. But I uh, just adding a little bit of um, brush strokes in here. You know, not, nothing major. This is definitely not a digital painting, but I'm going to add a few of these little. Uh, small brush strokes in here to just to give it a little bit more detail and just to make sure uh, that everything looks appropriate. Um, this is, uh, you know, this is <clears throat> definitely towards the end of the picture when I'm getting all of these, uh, these fine details. And then I, I know that I'm almost done. I know that we're, we're in the home stretch here and uh, there's not much more uh, to do because I've already committed to the color grade and I've committed to uh, the composition and everything. So now just just final details, um, make sure that reflection was in there. I didn't have uh, my daughter's reflection in the water. So that's pretty important as well. Uh, so, you know, just, just overlooking the picture, studying the picture, making sure everything looks right. And uh, I've got my color grade all in one um, 
group. So sometimes you see me turning that color grade off and on, and uh, that just helps me when I go back and, and do those paintings, uh, those little brush strokes to make sure everything looks right, um, and then turn that color grade right back on. Um, but guys, this was a really fun project. I, I really enjoyed uh, painting this one. I really enjoyed the, uh, the meaning behind it, uh, that we have a man and a woman, two parents who are praying, and uh, the daughter is just kind of walking over them as a bridge. And uh, this is a small little creek. It's not a big deal, but you know, it's awesome to uh, just think that you can pray about anything, whether it's big things or little things, and uh, just having that power of prayer uh, for our children. So guys, hope you enjoyed this this. Uh, speed art. This is just kind of an idea of how I create images. This is an idea of how I um, I, I make pictures and uh, the process that I go through. Um, so just to recap, you know, I did a, a quick uh, um, digital painting at the beginning just to get the composition right, and then I started adding all the elements into the scene, uh, made sure that all of the, the colors matched, and then did some color grading and final details, and then we ended up with this picture right here. So guys, that's it. That's uh, that's my speed art for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from watching how I edit these pictures. And until then, guys, I hope that you uh, find something, go out there and create on your own, create something really awesome. And uh, I look forward to seeing your artwork as well. Until next time, guys, have a good one and I'll see you again soon.